Good day everyone. In today's discussion, let's have the presentation of one of the radionuclide which is helium-4. And to start this discussion about helium-4, let's begin with the major characteristics. Helium-4 is the stable isotope of element helium. It is written in the isotope symbol wherein, as you can see here in the picture, wherein 4 represent the mass number and 2 represent the number of protons and with the symbol of HE. 4 is the number of protons and neutrons present in this isotope. It is by far the more abundant of the two naturally occurring isotopes of helium, making up about 99.99986% of the helium on Earth. Now, in terms of nuclide data, helium-4 half-life is stable. Isotope mass is 4.002602U and the total spin of the helium-4 nucleus is an integer zero and therefore it is a boson and it's having the binding energy of 28,300.7 kilo electron volts the size of the helium-4 nucleus has long been known to be in the order of magnitude of 1 fm so how they measure it in an experiment involving the use of exotic helium atoms where an atomic electron was replaced by a muon the nucleus size has been estimated to be 1.67824 with an uncertainty of 83 then fm. The stability of helium-4 is the reason that hydrogen is converted to helium-4 and not deuterium or hydrogen-2 or helium-3 or other heavier elements during fusion reactions in the sun. It is also partly responsible for the alpha particle being by far the most common type of baryonic particle to be ejected from an atomic nucleus. In other words, alpha decay is far more common than cluster decay. Now we end up discussing the major characteristic of helium-4. Now let's go to the uses and application of helium-4. Helium-4 is the same gas used to fill carnival balloons. Like what was the use of the helium, helium-4 is also used to build balloons. Then also, another uses or applications, when cool to temperatures below minus 452 degrees or below 0 Fahrenheit, helium-4 becomes a liquid and an extraordinary liquid at that. And what you can see in the data, at very low temperatures, helium-4 can become a superfluid, a liquid without viscosity that can flow unhampered by friction. Physicists also came to the idea that helium-4 becomes a super solid after oscillating liquid helium-4 back and forth in a special apparatus that measured the rotational speed. So, this effect, it was interpreted that the evidence of super solidity. So, because of that, they notice the evidence of super solidity, a phase in which some of the mass of a solid does not move with the rest of solid lattice, but rather flows freely through the lattice. After some uses and applications of helium-4, now let's go to the issues and concern about helium-4. Helium-4 is not eco-friendly. Helium-4 is not biodegradable. It poses a serious threat to wildlife. Why? Because helium-4 can use to the balloons, wherein balloons is that's not the grade. And in fact, many balloons are sold per year. And those balloons contribute to the bigger problem of wildlife. Helium-4 effect to human health. Inhalation of this isotope in excessive amounts can cause dizziness, nausea, vomiting, loss of consciousness, and death. Now, there are facts about helium-4. Why is it called helium-4? Helium-4 is made of two protons, the positive charge, two neutrons, the one 
located in atomic nucleus with no charge and two electrons, part of an atom that goes around the nucleus with a negative charge. What is the difference between helium and helium-4? The difference is explained using quantum statics since helium-3 atoms are permions wherein the magnetic spin of helium-3 is one half while helium-4 atoms are bosons with a magnetic spin of zero which condense to a superfluid more easily. What is helium-4 called? In alpha decay process, the parent isotope emits two protons and two neutrons wherein C is equal to 2 and A is equal to 4 which is called an alpha particle or the helium-4 nucleus. So that is all for the, the presentation of the helium-4. Thank you for listening and here are the list of preferences.